Hi, my beautiful friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day. My name is Bailey Sarian and today is Saturday, which means it's Saturday. Um, <laughs> I need like a Saturday song. No, I don't. Next weekend is Valentine's Day and I thought I would do a Valentine's Day look. I am going out. <clears throat> I know, get on my level. I'm actually leaving the house for once. Wow. <laughs> So I thought maybe I would do like a makeup look for if you're going out, why not? Let's do it. I mean, come on. Before we jump into it, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh, so I'm all for it. Get mouthwatering seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, okay? HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. If you're in a dinner rut or tired of eating the same thing all the time, well, HelloFresh is out here with 22 and more seasonal chef curated recipes each week. Get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. And then some recipes are quick, which are like 20 minutes or less. If you're short on time, HelloFresh has got you covered. HelloFresh gives you pre-portioned ingredients, which means less prep for you and less food waste. Fernando and I love HelloFresh and it has made us venture out and try new things, honestly, that we would have never tried, just different recipes. Most of all, even I can do it. And that's saying a lot because every time I step into the kitchen, normally I set something on fire by accident. Make a delicious meal for yourself, friends, family, loved ones, go to hellofresh.com and get 10 free meals and free shipping when you use code BAILEYSARIAN10 at checkout. Again, go to hellofresh.com and use code BAILEYSARIAN10 for 10, you heard that right, 10 free meals and free shipping. I just wanna say a big thank you to HelloFresh for partnering with me on today's video. And most of all, a big thank you to you guys because without you here, real talk, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here right now sitting in this chair because why would I be? You know, so thank you. I got a new chair, hate it. I'm twirling when I don't want to. Okay, so I have my skincare on and I'm going to start with my face first. So for foundation, I'm using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I'm mixing the shade 10 and 40 light beige and warm beige. If you've been watching me for a while, this foundation was like my favorite for um, a good minute. I mean, it gives you a smooth, flawless finish. It's more of a matte, a matte finish, which I am on the drier side. So I just make sure that my skincare is on and everything and it usually works fine. I love this foundation. I found it in like the back of my drawer. I hate it when you forget about like a good product because then it just goes to waste in the back. Like, hey, what about me? You forgot about me. I like to apply the product with the brush first. And then I always just go over it with my beauty blender just to really push it into the skin and get rid of any foundation lines. This brush is from Crown Brush and it's called their Pro Chisel Blush. Oh, interesting. I like it for um, foundation though. <laughs> Anywho, so Valentine's Day is coming up. Now Valentine's Day is lame. It's always been lame. It's a lame holiday to, that makes no sense. <laughs> but if it wasn't for Valentine's Day, I probably wouldn't be born because let's see, I'm a Sagittarius, end of November. I think I was conceived around Valentine's Day. If you do the math, it adds up, right? This is ColourPop. It's pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer. This is a shade Dark 158 Warm. So I'm gonna use this as my contour. So I'm just gonna do a little bit because it's kind of dark. I'm just tip tapping it along my forehead in the hollow of my cheek jawline sides of the nose. And then using that same brush, I'm just gonna blend this out. Do any of you guys watch Grace and Frankie? Well, if you don't, it's on Netflix and you should because it's a great show. They just came out with a new season and I've been putting off watching it because I know as soon as I watch it, it's gonna be over. <laughs> I don't know if it's their last season or anything, but I just don't want it to be over. Okay, I put these clips in my hair because I don't know why I do my hair first. My hair always looks like garbage when I'm done with my makeup. I guess because you just wanna feel somewhat cute because you're already feeling kind of vulnerable showing up here with no makeup on, looking a mess, you know? And then like no hair. That's so brave. I just like don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> just kidding. Anywho, so I'm gonna use now the ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer again. This is the shade Light 45. 
W. So Valentine's Day, it's not necessarily like my favorite holiday. I don't even know, what did we do last year? I don't know. But this year, we're, I got us tickets to go see one of my favorite bands. It's not Fernando's favorite band, but it's one of mine. They're called Murder by Death and they're playing on Valentine's Day. So we're gonna go see them. I'm very excited. So this is probably the look I'll do, right? One time I went and saw them by myself and it was so fun. I used to go to shows by myself all the time and I don't know what happened to me because I kind of haven't in a while. I highly support that. Like if there's a band or somebody that you want to see play, but you don't have anyone to go with, just go by yourself. It's so much fun. And nobody knows that you're there by yourself if you're embarrassed. I would go to shows all the time. Like I was single at the time. That's probably why I stopped going to shows by myself because I was single at the time. And it would be the best because it was such a great way to like meet people. You have to be careful, of course, always be careful, but it was a great way to meet people. And if you're just like a shy or uncomfortably nervous, uh, I don't know how to talk to people kind of person like myself, you know, at these types of things, you don't even have to, you don't have to talk to people if you don't want to. But for the most part, at least you know, if you do decide to talk to people, you have one thing in common, this band or music or whoever, Anyhow, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we might go out for like dinner or something. I think technically Valentine's Day is actually Fernando and, and I are, oh, I think it is. It's our anniversary kind of. You see, we have like two anniversaries. One is the day um, we met, which was on a Friday the 13th, but we didn't officially start dating until the Valentine's Day after. So I don't ever know like what our anniversary is. Fernando is the type in the relationship to where he remembers our anniversaries and stuff. And um, I don't, I'm really bad. I know I feel so bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna do blush. So I wanna use a cream blush, which means I'm gonna do that before powder. And this is ColourPop and it's their blush sticks and it's called Under Pressure. It's a pretty color. I'm gonna use a brush to apply because Sometimes when I put it directly on, it turns into a mess. With a brush, I have a little bit more control. Fernando and I watched the strangest movie ever. It was called Border and it's on Hulu. But uh, yeah, we watched Border and I had heard of it from, what's that actress's name? Aubrey, Audrey? Audrey Plaza or Aubrey Plaza, Audrey. She mentioned it was a good movie and it was on Hulu. So I was like, ooh, I should watch that. Boy, was it a wild ride. Just watch it and report back because I don't even know how to explain it. It is one of those movies where you can't predict what's what's going on. It's just a big ol'. It was like that. Was it good? It was different, I'll give them that for sure. I kind of had nightmares about it last night. It's not a scary movie by any means. It's just like weird, kind of uncomfortable. Just the sex scene was weird. You gotta watch it. It has a, I think it's in, I forget which language it's in, but it's their subtitles, which honestly subtitles aren't my favorite because when I'm going to watch a movie, it's usually because I just want to tune out and like not do anything and reading, oh my God. Honestly, it was like so good and so interesting that I kind of forgot I was reading subtitles and that, that is how you do it. That is how you do it. This is number seven translucent perfect light loose powder. I'm gonna use this under my eyes. I got way too much. It's like little angel wings under my eyes, right? How's that song go? Angel. So my eyebrows, I am going to first use pear soap, 99 cent store, and a spoolie. These are so gross. Spray the soap with water or a setting spray. It's up to you. I normally just use water, but I'm feeling fancy. I brushed this through the brow. The soap holds the brows up and in place all day. Gives it that fluffier effect. It's funny how many different styles, shapes your eyebrows go through throughout your journey of, in this life, you know? We all, well not all, cause there's some kids here. But for the most part, if you were born in the late 80s, early 90s, 
you probably went through that stage where you plucked, I didn't fart, it was my chair. <laughs> I didn't fart, you guys, leave me alone. Anyways, like I was saying, you probably went through that stage where you over plucked your eyebrows and then fat eyebrows were back in and then everybody was painting on their eyebrows. And when Instagram first got like really pop in, remember how everybody had the super Instagram eyebrows and it was just eyebrows. It could just be me. Cause I've gone through some really ugly eyebrow stages where I thought my brows looked bomb. And then looking back, I'm like, oops, my bad. <laughs> it's fun though. Cause it's just makeup. So it's like play, who cares? You don't have to be perfect all the time. This is the balm. Ferocious Brow Pencil, I use the shade Dark Brown. I love this eyebrow pencil, it's just so nice. I mentioned this in another video of mine, I think it was like a q and I did. I mentioned that every single day I wake up with like a song stuck in my head. I mean, every single day since maybe middle school, high school, I swear to you, I wake up with a song stuck in my head. And sometimes it'll be a song that I've just heard, so it kind of makes sense. But other times it's things that like I haven't heard in years. And I'm like, where did that come from? It's kind of creepy. Like, does this mean something? Is it a sign? When I was younger, I used to have a diary and uh, I would just write down the song of the day. I don't anymore, I should or just create like a Spotify playlist with my song of the day. But every day I wake up and usually I'll just turn over to Fernando and sing my song of the day and not on purpose. It's just like what I do in the morning. And Fernando will be like, oh, is that the song of the day? Or sometimes people will be talking to me and I'm like, step by step, day by day. Oh my God, I'm weird, I'm a freak. So yeah, what I'm getting at is that today I woke up with a step-by-step. -step. It was a sitcom and they had the cheesiest intro. Step by step, day by day by but I loved it. Okay, let's move on. This is Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. This is the shade Hot Sauce. These are cream eyeshadows. This shade is really pretty. It reminds me of like a delicious, strawberry shade, you see it? Look, FYI, this shade does stain the lid. It will, it probably will stain the lid. How about that? Now in the past when I've used these eyeshadows, I noticed if I had an eyeshadow primer on, it didn't stick to my lid correctly. It just kind of got all weird. So I'm gonna try it. Hmm, that's a cute color. So I'm just pressing it onto the lid and then at the crease, I just kind of start dragging it downwards. That way it keeps the color on the lid versus spreading it all over the place. So since I'm going to like a show, I figured I would want to do like just a little bit more. On Valentine's Day, it's either like really pretty looks that are just soft with like a red lip or it's more smokier looks. This palette I got from Wet n Wild and look at how beautiful. It looks great, right? And it's huge. And um, I have not used it yet. So this is my first time. I hope it's good. I've got a good amount of stuff in here. Wet n Wild coming through with this. This is a small crease brush and I'm just gonna use this shade right here. I'm just going to come right across my crease. Last weekend I uploaded a, like a reaction type video. That was actually a lot of fun. And <laughs> I'm glad like you guys liked it cause I wanna do more of that. That was fun. I'm just grabbing another brush with nothing on it cause I wanna blend out the edge. I'm just putting this on the middle of my eyelid outward. The reason I put that cream shadow down first is to give like a red base or a pink base. So anything I put on top of it will have that red tone to it. Cause you know, when you try and put on just a red eyeshadow by itself, sometimes it doesn't stick and you're just layering and layering and it's annoying. So having like a base down helps make the color pop. Color pop, oh my God. Is that how they got the name, color pop? The shimmery shades in here don't really show up all too well, like at all. I'm spraying my brush with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to use this orange right here. It's like fire. I want like a sparkly red shade just right on the center, but I just really don't have one, huh? This is Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and it's the shade 902. I'm gonna place this along my lash line. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth and then smudge it with my finger. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and this is called Stonewall. I just want a little bit. 
like right in here. Oh, whoop. I didn't know it was gonna show up like that. Oops, oh, poop. Oh no. I don't think I like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened, Bailey? I thought that glitter was gonna be red, but it's more silver. Interesting. Oh no. Well, since I messed that up a bit, I'm taking a little bit of that red eyeshadow. <laughs> And I don't know, I'm just gonna come up in here a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little bit of like the purple mixed with black. Damn it, Bailey, damn it. I had it and then I ruined it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's still cool, but. I'm going to uh, dust off the loose setting powder. I think this eye look is still pretty, but what I really wanted was like that wet look on my lid. And this is, this is not wet, this is glittery, and that's fine, but yeah. Oh well, it's still pretty. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I kinda am, but I'm not really. I'm just gonna do my lower lash line really quick, grabbing this color right here, and putting it right here, and then, last but not least, a little bit of that orange again right in here. For my contour today, I'm going to be using this. It's from the Becky G and Color Pop collection. It's their pressed powder bronzer. And this is the shade, I think it's called LA. I think that's what it's called. This is technically a bronzer shade, but I'm gonna use it as like a contour slash bronze. For my blush, I'm using Flower Beauty and it's called the Flower Pots Powder Blush. Warm Hibiscus. This one kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm. I really like it. I really like it. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so it will give you some glow. I'm gonna put on a coat of mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back. These lashes are by Ardell. They're the Demi Wispies. They're my fave. This is MAC Lip Liner in Burgundy. And then, I was thinking a red lip. Might be too much, but I guess we'll find out. This is from NARS and it's called the Power Matte Lip Pigment and it's called Don't Stop. Do you like it? <laughs> I can't decide if I like it or not, but that's the fun in it. Isn't it fun? It's just makeup, it washes off, so try something new. I like this lip. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you wanna wear it? Let me know down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you have a happy and safe uh, Valentine's Day. But just remember, it's just a dumb little holiday and you should always love your loved ones all the time. It had potential to be a good quote, but it just was very stupid. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. A big thank you to HelloFresh for partnering with me on today's video. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. You make good choices. Yes, make good choices. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.